What's up everyone? This is Tony with Journey Crypto. In this video, we're gonna be doing a crypto news and market update. We do have a small market dip right now, Bitcoin and Ethereum down 5%. Uniswap did release a video as well, and I do believe they're hinting that Uniswap version three is very close. So I am hoping um, that and PayPal crypto merchant payments are gonna be launching by the end of March. And I do think we'll still have a great end of March. So before we get started, I do appreciate if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell to be notified when I make new crypto videos. All right, guys, so we are experiencing a small market dip today, both Bitcoin and Ethereum down over 5%. ADA is down 7%. Uh, we do have XRP up 5% though. So like I stated in previous videos, something I have noticed is when the market is pretty much in the red, for some reason XRP has been in the green and this has happened the last three or four dips or so. I do think it's just coincidence that there's uh, XRP news on these days, but I have noticed that as a trend. Um, we also got a video from Uniswap today and I do believe that's hinting that version three is very close to being launched which is gonna be great for the entire crypto space. That's definitely gonna lower the gas fees and make purchasing a lot of these smaller cap altcoins much more possible again. So we did have the Fed release some information about inflation rates, and apparently the next year is not gonna be that bad for inflation. That's just what they're predicting though right now. Um, so if you guys do wanna get more information about that, uh, Meet Kevin here did a great video on it. Uh, just released, uh, Fed just released a new inflation report. Going over the predictions here, uh, so the high prediction is actually slightly under 3%, uh, which is really not that bad. It's not hyperinflation like a lot of people are thinking is coming, but I do think inflation rates will be worse in the coming years after that. It is gonna take time for inflation to play out. So we also had news on Cointelegraph, and that's uh, Bitcoin searches in Turkey spike 566% after Turkish Lira drops 14%, which is their fiat currency. So Turkey is experiencing some hyperinflation. 14% in a short period of time is just insane in my opinion. So uh, nothing like that's gonna happen in the United States since they do have that under control. But regardless, inflation is happening every year and cryptocurrency is a hedge against inflation. So I do believe uh, some people may be selling it because uh, they're realizing inflation is not gonna be as bad as expected. So uh, they really don't wanna hold their money in cryptocurrency as a hedge against inflation. So the thing is the governments have printed over 25% of fiat currency in circulation over the last year alone, and that's inevitably gonna cause higher inflation rates. So it may take some time for it to play out, but I do think it's gonna be happening. And uh, cryptocurrency is a hedge against inflation, and we've already seen this. This time last year, Bitcoin was barely, uh, barely around three to five thousand dollars. Now over fifty thousand dollars, and holding. And many people predicting it's going to go up to a hundred to one hundred fifty thousand dollars per Bitcoin. So I did post uh, your savings should have more purchasing power the longer you save it, not less. So that's the thing with. Uh, Cryptocurrencies being deflationary while fiat currency is inflationary as they print more and more uh, it inflates the currency making the purchasing power of the same amount of money going down so uh, with cryptocurrency being the opposite we should have this play out it's going to take more and more fiat currency to buy the same amount of cryptocurrency over time uh, not only that but we have new developments and technologies being worked on in the crypto space and new use cases and utility uh, constantly being developed which should also increase demand over time as well the younger generations are just much more likely to understand and adopt cryptocurrency as well and we do have the great wealth transfer taking place over the next 20 to 30 years so if you are new to the crypto space i definitely recommend getting educated as much as possible i do have some free cryptocurrency guides and a playlist on my channel i'll put a link to that in the top right of this video um, I do recommend going through this dollar cost averaging video specifically. It shows how I invest in cryptocurrency for long-term success uh, by doing dollar cost averaging and buying all the dips when we do have them. That does lower my average buy-in. So I'm still very bullish on the crypto space for the end of March. We have a lot of great things in the works. We have to keep in mind PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard still haven't launched their services yet. So uh, that's really gonna make crypto a lot more accessible. And that's great, especially with retail demand picking up throughout 2021. 
So these temporary dips are normal. Uh, you should definitely get used to them. All right, guys. So as I mentioned, Uniswap released this new video. I do believe they're hinting that Uniswap version three is very close to launching. So this is a 45 second video, just a teaser, I think, of Uniswap version three. Awesome artwork in this. If you guys do wanna see the full video, there will be a link to this tweet in the video description. So at the end of the video, someone did point out right here, uh, it does show version three in uh, the, the stars here. So I do believe this is an introduction video to Uniswap version three. Very likely it's gonna launch this week. And I do expect they would do an airdrop uh, for the launch of version three as well. So for the previous airdrop, they basically gave uni tokens to anyone that used the platform. They also gave a lot of uni tokens out to liquidity providers on the platform as well. So uh, last airdrop was worth $1,200 per person. It was uh, $3 per uni at the launch. Uh, almost went to $10 in the first few days of the uni token launching. And then uh, as you guys know now, uni token is over $30 here and in the top 10, nearly flipping XRP here. It's very possible over the next week if Uniswap version three um, is very successful with reducing those gas fees, that Uni token could flip XRP here, which would be crazy to see since XRP and Ripple are a massive corporation and uh, Uniswap is just a decentralized exchange with a small team. So Uniswap version three coming very soon is gonna be huge for the crypto space, specifically a lot of those small hidden gems, uh, which I am gonna be uh, reviewing some small hidden gems from Uniswap throughout the week as well. So be sure to be subscribed and hit the bell if you don't wanna miss those coins. Um, so next major event after Uniswap version three is gonna be those uh, PayPal crypto merchant payments. Uh, we haven't heard from PayPal at all. They haven't delayed it. They haven't uh, stated it's coming soon. So I do believe PayPal will just launch out of the blue. And then um, basically after that, we'll start getting thousands of announcements of different websites and companies accepting crypto as payment. So if they do announce a delay, that could be bad for the crypto space in the short term. We could see a uh, temporary dip that day. But PayPal does have investors uh, that they definitely want to keep happy. And they did state quarter one. So uh, they really only have uh, a little over a week left in quarter one to launch those PayPal crypto merchant payments. So if we get Uniswap version three launching the same week as PayPal crypto merchant payments, while we have stimulus checks continuing to go out, that's going to be massive for the crypto space. So we do have the possibility of that end of March, which is why I'm very bullish for the end of March still. We could have the, uh, a temporary dip though if PayPal does announce a delay for this but regardless uniswap version 3 is coming uh, they pretty much hinted at this they have been hinting it's ready for the past uh, two months so we do have some other news today as well bitcoin is more a substitute for gold than the dollar says fed chair powell so i definitely agree with this people are buying bitcoin like it's gold uh, it's very scarce uh, but it isn't the best cryptocurrency for transactions and uh, for transaction speed and fees so uh, people are buying it like gold, taking it out of circulation, holding it long term for much higher price targets. Since we do have history of Bitcoin pretty much being the best uh, asset in the entire world over the last decade. So I really don't hold much Bitcoin because I believe there's much better profits to be made in smaller altcoins. Uh, the much smaller market cap altcoins that are working on huge things with major events coming up. Um, it's definitely much easier for those to go up than it is for Bitcoin to start moving up, uh, which is similar to the stock market, which is why a lot of people are moving over from the stock market to the crypto space now, because all coins have such massive potential profits in short periods of time. So I do hold some Bitcoin uh, long term that I'll pretty much never sell and never have to worry about uh, because I do know um, every bull market is going to have higher lows. So I do believe we're still fairly early to this current bull market. I believe we have a lot more gas in the tank. We do have an article here stating long term investors continue to hodl despite one trillion dollar Bitcoin market cap. So with everyone new that just got into the crypto space that bought Bitcoin and Ethereum and all coins, they have price targets in mind that we're nowhere close to. And everyone's going to continue dollar cost averaging, especially as mass adoption picks up and um, cryptocurrency becomes more accessible in general with PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, all kinds of institutions, even banks getting into offering cryptocurrency services. So I do believe uh, end of 2021, it's very possible we're peaking in this bull market, but I do believe the peak is gonna be sometime in 2022. So I do believe we're very close to the next major leg up in the cryptocurrency space, uh, where we could see new all-time highs for Bitcoin and Ethereum.
Specifically, Ethereum, I think, is going to be breaking its all-time high very soon. Uh, very possible with the launch of the Ethereum Layer 2 solution on top of Uniswap version 3 as well. So I have been researching dozens of small cap altcoins on the Uniswap platform. With the launch of version 3 coming, I want to be prepared and uh, find the coins I think uh, have the highest potential in the short term, especially with version 3 launching. Uh, that's really going to open the doors to the masses getting into these altcoins again for the first time. Uh, because with massive gas fees of $100 or more, I do believe uh, the gas fee was $100 this morning. Um, it's just uh, impractical for many people to buy into these small cap altcoins, especially because they're uh, majorly invested in top 10 cryptos. And to buy a really small cap altcoin, you really shouldn't be going heavy in that with a high percentage of your portfolio. So on uh, considering that, only investing a few hundred dollars for most people on top of the $100 gas fee to buy, and then another gas fee to sell it, it's just not practical for most people. So version 3 hopefully will really uh, reduce those gas fees and really open the door to the masses buying these altcoins again. Uh, which is why I'm really looking for those. I will be featuring some projects here throughout the week. Also, if you guys want to put your cryptocurrency to work, I do recommend the BlockFi platform. You can get up to $250 uh, Bitcoin bonus just by signing up with my link and making your first deposit to start earning interest on that cryptocurrency. They do regular payouts and you can earn high interest um, up to 8.6% APY on stable coins. 6.5% uh, on Litecoin right now, and then over 5% on Bitcoin and Ethereum. So if you're just holding crypto anyways, you might as well put it to work and lend it out and start earning some passive income on that. So that's it for today's crypto news and market update. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, a free way to support the channel is like the video, comment below, and share the video anywhere on social media or with friends and family. Everything helps the channel grow, and I really do appreciate that. You guys can also follow me on Twitter if you guys want more regular updates throughout the day at JRNY Crypto. There's also links to all my favorite crypto tools and resources in the video description if you guys do want to take a deeper dive. Uh, don't forget to check out that playlist on my channel as well uh, for cryptocurrency guides if you guys are new to the crypto space. Over 15 videos here of great value and for information, all 100% free. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.